A native of Mansfield, Ohio, Ricky Menard was an honorable mention All-American and the Ohio Valley Conference Player of the Year in 2002-03. And here comes Ricky Menard. Dave Baker, you just called it, partner. Menard's going to take the long three, and he ties it up. Morgan with a rebound and put back. Jones with another chance, stuffed by Menard, and, and the refs are saying, ball game. As a junior that season, he helped the Eagles to a share of the league's regular season title and just their second 20-win season in school history. Menard guided MSU to a 66-49 and record in four years. He continues to hold Moorhead State's all-time scoring record with 2,381 points and ranks second on the school's career assists list with 417. Menard's numbers are impressive and worthy of induction into Moorhead State University's Athletic Hall of Fame. Oh man, I'm so honored, man. That school meant everything to me uh, to be a part of that program and the growth of it. And just being able to be named to that Hall of Fame is a, is a huge thing with the big name athletes that are in it. When you walk onto the campus uh, as a basketball player, a football player, or an athlete, that's the highest accolade you could receive. Yeah, you could be player of the year in the conference or player of the year in the district, but to be in the Hall of Fame for that school is amazing. I mean, that's not something you go in thinking of. That's being super ambitious if you think that. And at the time, uh, I didn't really think about it at all <laughs> until it got to the point where I felt as if I was finished. Like, when I was gone, it was kind of like, man, maybe I could end up in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> the better players at the moment, Menard, what a move to the basket. Holy cow! Menard, a three, it was partially blocked. Menard was a first-team all-league choice as a sophomore, junior, and senior, and a second-team all-conference selection as a freshman. He earned all South Region honors from the National Association of Basketball Coaches twice. Menard's number 24 jersey is retired in Johnson Arena. He was selected by the Sacramento Kings in the second round of the 2004 National Basketball Association draft. There's no greater feeling as an athlete. No greater feeling. Uh, I appreciate what the school has done for me. Uh, Moorhead State University will always be my favorite school. We'll always be the school that I speak of when somebody asks me anything about a college. Uh, there's no greater feeling as an athlete. And seeing everything that you work for and how hard you prepare for everything that came your way and, and to be, I mean, in this situation is, is surreal. Us winning the uh, Ohio Valley Championship um, against Murray State at home was a really, really big game. I really, really enjoyed uh, that game. And also, anytime we played Eastern Kentucky, because for the four years, I never lost to them one time, 8 no. So I feel really good about that. Warhead State holds on! The game against Marshall sticks out of my head, not always for the best reasons, because of how we played and how it started, but it ended great and we ended up winning. So I can say that that, that was a great game that I remember also. But there were a lot of great games, and we had a, we had a great run on the third We saw an incredible game with huge plays on both sides. Menard has played for 12 different professional teams overseas. He helped his current program, BC Budavelnik in Kiev, win the Ukrainian Cup in 2013-14. Menard says his experience at MSU laid a solid foundation for a long and successful professional basketball career. Uh, man, <laughs> well traveled. That's, that's about all I could say. Uh, I've played a little bit everywhere since I've left Sacramento. Um, had a great professional career so far. Um, very blessed to have played my 10th year this past season. Uh, gearing up for another one soon. Man, I've played in so many different countries, so many different situations. Uh, at first, I kind of found, found it kind of difficult to adapt, I can say, to being overseas. But now it's just like a, I mean, a second home away from the United States. I spend more time there than I do at home. So it's a lot easier now. But I've had some great, great experiences. But none of them compared to being at Moorhead State University, for sure.